Hello friends, we'll be discussing the economic problem or rather the concept of economic problems of scarcity and choice. Now, when we are discussing about the economic problem which is scarcity and choice, two things related to each other and how ironically they are different from each other but still related to each other let's understand how exactly we are trying to explain or rather what exactly we're trying to explain here let's start with the pointers related to this the word economics is derived from the greek word oikonomia which can be defined or rather can be divided into two parts as oikos which means house and nomos which means management Basically, the word economics has been derived from a Greek word oikonomia, which means or rather can be divided into two parts and the whole meaning of it is house management. So, how you handle your house is basically known as economics. Together, they mean managing household. The coverage of economics is broader than the meaning of the word economics. However, the word house management is just the meaning of economics but the coverage of economics is more than what we can think about let's take an example your mom handles the whole house on her own considering all the equipments all the details she has so basically the finance of the house the groceries the food the cleanliness every aspect related to a household is handled by your mother so basically she is in and out available with all the knowledge related to the house management which can be also called as economic so basically she is the economic handler of your house just like that the coverage of economics maybe for us we might be just thinking that she is only preparing food she is only preparing or rather she is only doing certain household chores but not exactly the coverage of her or rather the area she covers is more than what we expect or what we think hence economics or rather household management the coverage of it is very much or rather as per abundant basis as we can talk about as compared to the meaning of it let's understand few more details on this now here we have something for you here is the question that we are going to ask you could you make an attempt to ask yourself is doing this course the right choice for you now you who are aspiring to be a chartered or company secretary here or any other degree that you're trying to or wishing to do for now do you really know or rather do you really understand the choice that you have taken here is the question the expected outcome of doing the course may or may not promise what you want to do in life but given the time and resources in position you found this course to be the best suitable course among the available alternatives you don't know whether this course will give you exactly whatever you are wishing for but given the possible time and resources that you have at your existence right now or at your service right now you understand that this is the best possible course that is available out of all the choices that you have so basically if you are looking for certain management courses you know that mba is one of the best but if you're looking for certain law courses you cannot select mba you absolutely have to go for law or certain things which are related to or indirectly related to law so the option depends on you based on the choices based on the available options that you have so on that basis you select certain things now how exactly this is related to a topic is something that we'll be discussing in the upcoming slides let's start with the other point of this one might have used this time in earning additional money by engaging oneself in some gainful employment rather than spending those time in doing this course. That's correct. It's an opportunity cost. One might just spend this much of time, whatever you're doing or rather whatever you'll be spending in making this course complete in rather using this amount of time in earning money. Isn't it correct? You might just go or rather use all these three years in earning certain money and then duplicating it. That's one of the option. Instead of wasting or rather putting your time here, I wouldn't say wasting. Instead of putting your time here in this course and completing this course, this might be one of the thinking that every other individual would have or rather this thought would cross every other individual that we have right now at this moment going through the session. The purpose of investing some valuable time in pursuing this course may be to earn more money in future. 
but the main reason behind why you are putting so much of time right now is not just to earn certain money but a lot more money so for example if you have invested that three years or rather those three years in earning certain money x amount of money correct you're not doing that course and you're just earning money you might be restricting yourself to a certain amount of number what if this course can give you an amount which is more than what you can restrict yourself and get that money for example if you're working three hours without doing this course or rather three years you're not working and without doing this course you're earning five lakh rupees in those three years what if doing this course and you get a salary package of per year to be around 10 lakhs that is for three years that will be 30 lakhs which is six times more as compared to the amount that you could have earned or you have earned by doing or not doing this course that's the opportunity cost that you have to look into now when you're looking at the opportunity cost you're looking at the view of the future in view of future benefits, the cost incurred in taking this course appears worth investing, which gives you a good enough reason to choose this course. That means whatever cost you're putting in right now will be worth once you complete this course and once you back that much of amount or that much of salary package because everything will be then completely recovered here. Now, again, make an attempt to ask yourself, is doing this course the right choice for you? Earlier, you asked yourself some other question. Now, you are asking yourself, by doing this course, is this a right choice for you? One may not be sure whether the decision taken will prove to be right or wrong eventually, but if it shows the benefits of decisions are higher than the cost of taking those decisions, then decision certainly is an economic decision. So basically, you are not really sure about whether you will have that much of choice making thing or rather you'll have that much of benefit or not but you definitely know that the benefit of taking this decision is more than thinking about taking this decision because once you take the decision you are already on the way of completing this course so after completing this course you may earn or rather the chances of earning success here is more as compared to just thinking of whether to take this decision or not for example you want to take a car or you want to take a flat now if you just think about whether you want to take a flat or not then probably you will earn nothing but if you have certain money or if you have something that can lead to the start of it and if you have already taken that decision and if you've gone ahead and made the payment and bought a flat here that flat or that apartment will lead you certain amount and that is much better in near future as compared to thinking of just taking a decision or not so thinking will make you paralyzed more thinking more paralysis thinking effectively and then going ahead and executing that thinking part is leading to a less of opportunity cost running out and more of opportunity cost being seeked at every moment of time that is simple economics at this stage it can be said that economics is the study of choice under condition of scarcity now at this point of time you can say that economics is the study of choice at the scarcity that is available that means all the conditions that are available of scarcity under that condition that means whatever current options are available out of those options you need to select one that will match your profile very well that will match your needs very well that will match your requirements and enhance them to a different level that will give you worth the time that you have invested in it now the definition that we have given here that means economics is a study of choice under the conditions of scarcity it has two parts of it let's study them the definition has two parts choice and scarcity scarcity is a situation where the amount of something available is inefficient or rather insufficient to satisfy the desire for it for example you have one mango at your place that is absolutely very less to satisfy your feeling or your want or your craving for having a mango but that is still more as compared to no mangoes being there available at your place isn't it something is better than nothing that's the simple idiom that you need to use it here as an individual for instance we face scarcity of time and spending power 
that means for an individual if you are thinking about we face a lot of scarcity of time we always keep complaining we don't have time we don't have time to do this we don't have time to do that we don't have a lot of time in doing a lot of other things and scarcity of spending of power that means whatever we have earned we don't have time to spend it how exactly we are going to use that money that is the balance that you have to strike when it comes to economic values or rather we can talk about economic helps you in striking that balance here now the next point is very important and very interesting every individual confronts this kind of situation on day to day basis we always keep talking about we don't have much time we go through that situation every other day isn't it because of the scarcities of time and spending power each of us is forced to make choices because we have restricted time in our day is it that we have 48 hours in a day of course not we have restricted 24 hours in a day and out of those 24 hours we have only certain amount of hours with us to make them effective because rest 8 hours we need to sleep or rather we need to do something which we can call as socializing so that 8 hours is completely gone rest 16 hours or whatever amount of hours is left with us you need to make utilize or rather you need to utilize them to the max possible extent we must allocate our scare time to different activities that is work play study sleep shopping and more so you need to divide your day into such a way that means you give effective time for everything you need to work you need to play you need to enjoy your day you need to shop you need to sleep you need to rest you need to eat food everything has to be done on timely basis only that's when you can strike the balance so that's the secret of striking the balance here we must allocate our scarce spending power among different goods and services that is housing food furniture travel and many other things so we have restricted power on spending again that has to be divided equally you cannot just spend on food itself you cannot just spend on clothing itself you need to spend on certain investment as well you need to make sure that you make the money divide or rather you use the money in such an efficient way that today you earn that money and you are spending on certain things but you are also making sure that tomorrow if you don't have money you have these investments that will help you out and each time we choose to buy something or to do something we also choose not to buy something or not to do something yes that's correct it's the crux of opportunity cost by choosing this you leave out this thing for example you have two heroines right in front of you one seems to be a hollywood actor other seems to be a bollywood actor if you are choosing hollywood over bollywood you are absolutely leaving bollywood but if you're leaving Bollywood, that means you're choosing Hollywood here. Same thing vice versa. If you're choosing Bollywood here, you're choosing or rather you're leaving Hollywood here. The idiom here that you can follow is you cannot sail or rather you cannot travel in two boats together at one single point of time. You need to keep both your feet in one boat itself. Because if you sail on two boats, you're going to crash, you're going to fall, you're going to drown. So with every choice that you make you also make a choice of not selecting the other counterparts of it that is economics now given this economics or rather the concept of study of economics with choice and scarcity has been given to a conclusion here let's read out the conclusion economics would mean the study of ways in which mankind organizes itself to tackle the basic problems of scarcity of resources in our day-to-day -day problem what are the best possible practices we can take into consideration is known as economics you as an individual you might have different best practices someone sitting right beside you will have a different practice to tackle his daily problem because you know your situation well me sitting right here I might have different ways or different constructive ways I can utilize or rather I can make sure that my day passes in a flawless and seamless way certain things like this can be utilized or can be shared to every individual and they can see if this thing works out if the other thing is not working out for them hence economic is the study of alternate systems requisite to allocate these resources between competing ends economics is a study of different ways alternative solutions you have to keep sure or rather you have to keep a backup at every point of time in view of allocation of resources it can be said that economics is a study of how we choose to use our limited resources with alternative uses to obtain the maximum satisfaction of unlimited human wants now 
three most important things economics or rather economics is related to humans unlimited wants scarcity of the resources and the choices these three things are very important and economic helps you strike a balance between these three you have unlimited wants you have very selected resources and you have to make one single choice striking a balance between these three is known as study of economics so if you have certain resources and you need to use those resources in an optimum way efficient way that's what you call economics for example if you have petrol in your car and it can go up to 100 kilometers itself then if you have to go and come back you won't travel 100 kilometers in total because you don't have money in the first thing so you can travel just a max of 40 to 50 kilometers to be precise and that much of distance can be covered back using the same kind of petrol but to be more economical you can travel only 40 kilometers so in case i would say that you would travel only 40 kilometers the reason why i'm saying this is because if you go 40 kilometers you'll come back 40 kilometers that is 80 kilometers itself you still have 20 kilometers saved so that tomorrow if there is any contingency any emergency required you can use that much of petrol to reach the nearest petrol pump and fill it up and then you're free to travel again so this is how you take economic decisions rather using or rather making the choices based on the best possible availability of resources. So this is all what we had to discuss in this topic of economic problem which is related to scarcity and choice. Thank you.